Hi, I'm Ryan Beadle from the NDSU Dickinson Research Extension Center. I'm an NDSU Extension Cropping System Specialist. We're standing here in one of our low pH wheat trials where we're looking at how different varieties react to this low pH. So we're finding more and more areas in western North Dakota as well as parts of eastern North Dakota where we're finding pHs below five and a half. And we're even finding that in a field where there's a pH of eight, right? So uh, that really site-specific soil sampling is very important so that you're looking at the full picture in each field. When your pH is below five and a half, you can get something called aluminum toxicity, where that aluminum that's already available in the soil, that's already in that soil, becomes more soluble. So pretty much all of our soil out here has aluminum in it, but when that pH drops below five and a half, the plant starts to take it up and that can cause a toxicity that reduces yields. So there are certain wheat varieties that are more tolerant to aluminum toxicity. So variety selection is one way that we can face this challenge in our fields out here. But it's important to keep in mind that as that pH drops, a lot of other things start to happen too. So ideally we want people to be out there liming these fields, putting down tons of lime to raise that pH above five and a half. Because when that pH is that low, not only is that aluminum become more available, so uh, other nutrients become less available, and things like phosphorus can get bound up with that aluminum. We also have certain herbicides that don't break down the way that they usually do and can cause some carryover issues down the road. Last year we had a wheat variety trial. Unfortunately it got hailed out. So this year we have three sites. So we have information on all these different varieties for wheat and how they interact under different environments along with all these sites have a pH below 5.5. Some are even in the, in the upper fours. So we're definitely seeing stress across all these sites so we can give you guys a good idea of how these varieties do under these low pH environments. So we're not saying that every field has a pH below 5 um, but we're seeing a lot you know more and more where there are areas out in these fields where we're having this acidity issue, especially in no-till fields. So make sure that you're being very site-specific with your soil sampling so that you can find where these sites are. Then apply lime, any type of lime source is gonna work. We've used sugar beet lime, water treatment lime, or your egg lime. The biggest thing you wanna keep in mind is calcium carbonate. So we want tons of calcium carbonate, not a couple hundred pounds in furrow. We did do some work looking at some different calcium sources in furrow. This year with the drought, um, you know, some of these yields can be lowered, but we didn't see any differences with both lime and gypsum in furrow on a low pH site. We did, however, find a difference with phosphorus in furrow, and that's something that there's a lot of research out there showing that that will help bind up that aluminum in the root zone. So putting phosphorus in furrow with your small grains is one way to counteract this low pH issue, but ideally we're putting lime down. So with variety selection and some in treatments, you can get by with this issue.